Hi guys, I'm Kira, also known as Hobo Kiki, and today we're in my Hobonichi cousin, my baby, my pride and joy. I just want to quickly show you last week's spread and how it came about. There's still a little bit of room for Sunday and things that I need to plan there, but August 12th through the 18th, we'll be using this paper shire kit. It is so cute. It's called the Academia Kit, and I think it's perfect for this week. I am also going to be adding some of these um, Hogwarts um, girls from TaylorMade Creative. They are supposed to be representing Hufflepuff, which you know your girl is. And then I am going to be taking some of this washi, this script washi here, and laying it down with this um, old green washi that I received from Amazon. So I think it works together. It definitely brings in some of that olive green that's in the kit. Speaking of which, that kit is perfect for this month because if you're new here, hi, how are you? I do like to plan my weeks in my Hobonichi Cousin uh, based off of one whole theme for the month and this month is back to school so this sticker kit is definitely given back to school if you couldn't tell um it it's literally called academia kit so i just thought it was perfect for this month and it features my favorite color which is green i am just tearing this washi strip in half uh, just because i don't think it needs that like that thickness that it had, I thought it was just a little too much green. You know, we're just giving like hints of green with this kit. So that is why I did that. And I'm going to be placing that at the very bottom and of the left page and the very top of the right page. And sometimes I do this. Uh, there will be times where I put my washi strip all the way uh, at the bottom for both pages. But some days, I, I don't know, I just be feeling different. Feeling spicy, I guess. <laughs> so I put uh, washi at the bottom and then flip it and put washi at the top. Some days, I don't know why I do it. It just feels like it needs to do that. And then I am going to be adding this cute notebook here. Uh, that's going to mark my weekend. I'm looking for a girl to put around that. Uh, I think I am going to wind up going with this girl here just because I like the way that she's positioned. She looks like she's really leaning into it, so I thought I would add her here. While we finagle with sticker placement here, I do just want to take this time to ask, how is everybody doing? Are you okay? Are you drinking all your water? Have you been watching anything good lately? Just a quick little check-in to see how you are, what you're up to. You still in a Hobonichi cousin or an all? <laughs> it's okay if you're not. I want you to be using whatever planner works best for you. And if you are not even a planner, you're just here for the vibes. Well, I appreciate you as well. As you guys may know, every week in this Hobonichi looks a little bit different from the next one. <laughs> I basically just let the stickers take me wherever they want to take me. And this week, for some reason, we're doing some kind of like a mixed spread. You know, it feels feels very much so like a regular planner or a regular Hobonichi cousin because I am going to use the uh, time slots to my advantage here. But I also bring in that dashboard element that I was doing uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, basically make like a giant to-do list uh, between Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but it's going to be for the whole week. I didn't add a bunch of things, uh, just enough. Um, yeah, that's just what I was led to do this week, <laughs> and I like the outcome. Um, I will probably tweak some things if I do this kind of variant of the dashboard spread again, but it's, it's still decent. I am going to put my mood tracker here on the left side here. Um, this one, or this time, I do have a lot of space. So you're going to see me put in my uh, 1 through 10 rating. And then you'll also see me put in my Monday through Sunday. But something that I haven't been putting in lately, just because I don't have an, enough space in the uh, sidebar section, is that... 
I am going to put like a little tiny key there. I don't really need the key, but I know some people like to know what the key is because a lot of people don't get what I'm tracking there, which, you know, it's completely understandable. I'm just putting down bars and dots. How are you supposed to know what the heck that means, right? So uh, this this time you will see that key there, which the bar is always going to be sleep. The dot with the straight line, that's my mood. And the dot with the dotted line, that's my productivity. And yeah, I like to see how those things kind of like correlate with each other because I'm a nerd, but <laughs> it's also, to me, I just like seeing the graphs in my planner. It looks cool, but that's probably because I'm a nerd. <laughs> As you can see, Monday is pretty packed. Now, yes, I did do a like a tracker on Monday, which is adding to the packedness, but I do have a lot of things planned on Monday that revolves around appointments. You know, gotta knock those suckers out. So yeah, uh, this is what I really like the Hobonichi cousin for when I'm like, when I know I have like a lot going on in a week, or even if it's just one day, like how it is on Monday. Um, I like that I can see exactly like how busy my day is. Basically, the schedule part of it, which is what the whole Hobonichi cousin is for, right? That's why you have the time slots uh, to the left of each column. So I can actually see exactly how busy I am. And then I know not to do too much on one day. Like, okay, you see, Monday, you barely got any more room to do anything, don't add too much to Monday. Fill up another day. So that's how I know. Like, if I see that my day is busy on a certain day and I know, like, okay, I need to do chores, then I ain't doing chores on that day. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I'll tidy up, of course. Of course I'm going to tidy up. But, like, like real big chores, like maybe uh, cleaning the bathroom, I got to be saved for a different day. I ain't doing it on Monday. Monday's packed. Don't ask again. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, like if people want to hang out, unfortunately, it's like, hey, Monday's packed. We, we're going to have to choose a different day. Like it, it, it's a very good visual for a schedule. So that's why I like to have it because I don't like putting things in my phone when it comes to schedules uh, just because it, it just shows up as a little dot. And I'm like, oh, I have plenty of time to do more things. And then I can overbook myself. And so I don't, I don't really like that. I like to see the visual of like what's going on. And I know in like Google, you see the dot and then you can like mark out the time section. And then it's just, nah, I just don't like it. I don't like it at all, to be honest. Uh, to me, this just, it just makes more sense in my head, I guess is the best way to put it. But you use your Hobonichi however you best see fit, okay? You do you, boo. <laughs> I don't even do me all the time, okay? Like I just said, each each week it, it changes slightly. So some days it looks like this and other days it's just, I just felt like putting all the decorative stickers down and it is what it is. So it really just depends on the week, to be honest. Now that I have all of that done, I am just going to mark weekend here. I actually need to get some more weekend stickers. I need small weekend stickers and large weekend stickers. Who's the best shop to go to? Y'all put me on because I know y'all been shopping. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all know where all the good stickers are. I need help with script stickers. I need to see a small weekend sticker and a large weekend sticker. I need these. I, I'm looking for like a very certain style though, I guess. Like I don't want the like regular just written down. Like I need it to be script. I For some reason, I need it to look like cursive. So if you know a shop that sells shells, why do I always do this? <laughs> if you know a shop that sells stickers, woo, <laughs> that sells stickers, that are weekend stickers that are written in cursive or a nice scripty font. Let me know. Um, what you did see me do here was just cut up uh, this little like poster sticker because I just wanted to get some more deco all around the spread. And there's not a lot of like small deco. So I'm cutting up or I did cut up uh, the poster sticker just to uh, kind of get some small 
deco all around the spread. And I do think that adds a little something something here. It puts the spread together, but that's basically it. Let's put some words down, like so, like that, and boom. But that's basically it for this week. Um, I do like how it came out. I will add more stuff if need be. Of course, I'm going to write more when those dates come. And I am going to use the exact same stickers I use in my weekly section in my daily section here. So let me just put that there. If you like the video, feel free to like the video. If you dislike the video, feel free to leave a dislike. It's whatever, bro. We keep it real over here. Remember to stay safe and stay creative. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.